in this video, which follows the GC1 install and setup. We're going to start from scratch, walk you through adding MMLC to a new character. As well. So for starters, everything looks good in the dependency check. So let's go ahead and set up our character before I do that. I have a character in this scene, so I'm just going to get rid of it. And let's add a new one. So in this case, I want a player. So I'll create the player and then I'm going to change the model. So right now model change doesn't work in MMLC. So what we need to do is just create it ahead of time and I'll uh, fix that in a future update. So we're going to drop a model into here. I'm just going to pick one. Yeah, robot Kyle, that'll work. Let's go take a look. So space robot Kyle, good to go. We're going to go ahead and just put him on the ground. All right, and so now we have our model. This is just normal game creator. Everything would work as you'd expect. We'll go back to the config wizard. We have our robot and we are going to drag him in to the scene root object model object. We want to be using update existing character. And so we find that player. We just drag it into the root object and it'll automatically find the model object down here, which specifically what I mean is the object that has the animator on it. And so the player object is the object that has the player character or character, it doesn't have to be a player, um, and the character animator. All right, so once we have that, we're going to pick, I'm just going to, just to show that it can be done, I'm going to switch to using input system instead of the input manager. I set my ground layers, default and ground or ignore. Um, let's see, I'll just, I can use the default. Actually, I'll show you. Here's, I have movement animate and set pro installed. So I'll go ahead and pick that one from the list. You have a bunch of options. This is just the MXM mocap. This is MXM mocap, but it uses movement and set pro for sprint crouch and crouch strafe. Since the MXM mocap doesn't have crouch and crouch strafe, this uh, adds it in for it. Um, and then you have map for just crouch and crouch strafe to use the sprint from the MXM mocap. So those are your options. I'm going to go strictly MXM mocap for this round. I'm going to show you how to switch actually. Go to the game creator integration. We'll enable that. We don't need a camera because we should already have one in the scene, um, which should be pointed at the character. I do want to start in MLC mode, motion matching mode, because I'm not going to be using game creator for the locomotion, locomotion here. Let's go ahead and add that to the scene. You noticed looks like nothing changed, but it does say down here setting up stopgap animation data. So if you go to the console, you'll see that it did set up the game creator one on the character. And now let's go back to the inspector for that object. And yep, sure enough, we now have our controller wrapper, our NG character, which is the main thing. And then we have our game creator component which allows you to do a bunch of other things. Like you can choose whether you're going to elevate the feet as you move back and forth between MMLC and game creator. If you don't wish to change all of your animations that are outside of game creator to have that 0.1 meter um, foot offset that game creator requires, um, we'll just do it for you. However, that causes a, uh, a temporary shift up and down. I don't like the smoothness of it. So what I do instead is have the automatic stuff in the dependency checks to make that change for you. You have a couple events here, but for the most part, we're going to automatically, like whenever you land, MMLC will go fire a landing event in Game Creator. So it works just like it always did. And for on, for example, on footsteps, you can just use the on step or on character step action or sorry, trigger for any of those. All right. So that's the uh, character object. And if we look at the model object, it's got quite a lot more. It didn't have anything on it before. So now it has the dispatch animation events, which allows you to independently catch your left, right, and uh, or any footsteps, and whether you wish to play events for them. Um, you have your MXM animator, the root motion applicator, and the trajectory generator. So that's all automatically configured, put on there for you. Okay, and so this should all just work. So if we hit play, and I'm actually just going to grab the... So let's see. Yep, sure enough. Everything looks good. So there's walk in, here's running. Here's sprinting. Let's see. Now because I am Oh, I have disabled crouch. 
You notice I have this disable crouch action, but I should be able to at least strafe. Yep, there we go. I've got strafe working. All right, what else? So let's go ahead and stop this. So first things first, since I have um, Movement Animus, so Anim Set Pro actually has a crouch, I can delete this entire trigger. But first, I just want to show you. So it's a trigger on MMLC enable or disable. So I'm triggering on enable. And you can choose how you want to trigger. And then when that happens, I'm literally just calling the disable crouch. So I'm changing whether the input is enabled for the crouch key. So the MMLC change input enable has, you know, you can, you can enable or disable jump, sprint, crouch, strafe, or all of them. So if you just want game creators triggers to completely handle your input or however you want to handle your input externally, you could just disable them all very quickly with this. And you can just put that in on MMLC enable, and then you'll make sure that it'll never accept any key press actions. So we don't need that. We're just going to get rid of it and fire it up again. And what we should see is if we hit the control key, yep, we now have crouch. And if we hit alt, we have crouch strafe. Good times. And hopefully no foot sliding. That's kind of a partially the whole point. And that's it for this video.